Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Good morning, and it is late in the day, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is take this sticky cling wrap off of my iPod case and hope that it didn't congeal and that we can still use it. And I want to see what it looks like. It looks like no matter what I do with that, Adding more paint is the answer, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of paint colors that I like. They've already shaken up. That's got a top on it. It's quite cold out here today and my paint's been out here for hours while I did chores in the house and uh, I don't know how any of this is going to go really, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I think if I spread that color around inside this iPod case enough, I think it's nice if I have a bamboo skewer handy because it doesn't take much to, to clear out the tips of these things. And I want some white pearl. Is that white pearl? No, it's not. That reminds me, I have glasses. <laughs> That's always a good thing. So this is a weird little mix colors, but that's okay, because I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but I think it's going to be something pretty simple. What I want is some black and some more turquoise, and I'm about as full as I need to be, and I can always add more color, as you know, well know that about me, color junkie that I am. Put that paint aside just for a moment. I'm going to spread as best I can. I saw that thing come out. What thing are you? Goodbye thing. Thing that does not belong. So, the paint will stay a lot better without drying. This is my OXO omelette turning spatula, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know. It's on my Amazon link. It's the best paint spreading spatula around. Gets rid of a lot of the bubbles. It makes it so that you can see whatever the miscellaneous things that do not belong. <laughs> Makes them show up quite nicely. Nice even layer of paint, thin or thick, your choice. It's working very well right at the moment to get rid of the junk in there. I spread paint on the canvas most often to help whatever paint I add to the wet paint flow and spread. And it's also black and white, generally, most generally, black and white are often a catalyst. for cells. I don't use any silicone in my mix, but the Floatrol is a natural selling agent. And I also use Decor Pouring Medium, which is also reputably another selling agent. I put GAC 800 in all of my paints so that when I have thick paint, which I usually do because I like to stop short of spreading too far, um, so that I can keep my patterns. So now I have a choice. Whoops. Some of it's on the table. <laughs> I'm really interested in seeing what happens, regardless of the mess I make. If I do what I've been thinking about doing, and leave some marks out. I'm very lucky that I just avoided spilling a whole lot of that stuff. I'm not really sure how this will work, but I'm sure that I can figure out something to do with it, no matter what it is. And that may include dumping more, whoa, dumping more paint. I'd like to figure out a way to make triangles that lead out to the edges. I'm kind of doing that. <laughs> And I could use a scoop instead of a shovel now, but I think I'm just going to continue on in my haphazard experimental way. I'm going to try and wipe off the bottom of the shovel with the scraping it off on my iPod container. It's looking like a multi-pointed star right at the moment. So I'm getting a little better at it, I guess, maybe. I'm 
Now I'm just going to take my shovel. It's leaking residuals and let it drag what other paint I have left. So that's pretty simple and I could probably make that go down over the edge if I tried a little bit. It's something more like one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, the pointy one specifically at this exact moment. going to drag that right through the middle of all those spikies. I'm going to lead some paint down over the edge, hoping not to destroy too much in my wake. Just having some fun. It's really cold out here. The only reason I'm painting is because my paints were out and uh, I didn't want to waste the opportunity. It's also late in the day here. Good morning. I know it's like 10 o'clock for you guys. I see that. What do I want to do? I want to do some weird and funky things. So let me just start by saying if I put a little chain in, like I never usually do on one of these star shapes, what will happen? We need to know because we can. Oh, that's the name of my book because I can. It's on the Amazon link too. It shows the first hundred dry artworks and the processes and the tools from YouTube. In case you're interested. We're trying to get the publish on demand version ready or out there or published I guess is the best way to put that. But the ebook is there ready for your Kindle app. I don't think you have to have a Kindle, but I think you have to be able to download an app to your Android to make it work. I don't have it yet. I'm waiting for the published version. Isn't that sad? That's how broke I am. Which, by the way, I do sell my artworks, and I do give classes at the, at the house. I kind of think that this might be neat to cross over the center, but I'm not sure how that's going to look yet, and I'm not hating what I've got, so I'm not ready to do that. I may also want to... Um, not answer that phone. Um, <laughs> completely blew my train of thought. Okay, well, never mind. I think I'm going to wipe that off. I think that's probably what I was going to say. Time to wipe off the chain before we get any more mucky, muckier. So this is just miscellaneous different uh, tools that I have around the chain, and I'm thinking about the basting brush. The basting brush is actually a silicone basting brush that I removed most of the bristles, or two-thirds of the bristles from, so not one would touch another one. I want that to go right down over the edge. And I think if I wipe it off, I can. I'm not minding the chain. It's not super impressing me yet either, but I wonder if I can... Yes, I can. I can make that drip right over the edge if I try. The chain will pick up paint, so if you have a chance to let it rest or relax, it will often drop its load right where you drop it. So it looks like I've come full circle, or full square, <laughs> whatever you want to say. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to clean that with my rag. Uh, and actually I'm going to put it in the water. Because it's so cold, it's not going to be cleaned otherwise. So I've got a bamboo skewer. And I think I'm just going to let that continue where I started, making the paint go over the edge. If it needs it, I'll check that. I can dip that right into any thick paint, and I have some always, because I love to save my patterns that occur naturally, and then I get to change them. Those of you who know me, 47,000 of you, some some who know me, some who don't. So I'm kind of thinking it would be nice to give myself a chance to look at this before I make too many decisions. And maybe 
just dip some more of that. Yep, that's the way to go. So I've got myself quite the star here, but I don't see that I have... Where's my tubing? Okay, well, well how am I going to do this if I don't have tubing? So I'm going to just lead some of this paint right up here to the center and see if I can even it out. And then I'm going to dip my spatula in. And that kind of worked better. I have my clean side and do the same thing over here. So I actually have a fairly decent circle in the center, strangely enough. But what I want to do is sort of irreverent, which is just go round and round because I can. Just spiral in it a little bit. Sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't. Be nice if they stayed this time. Kind of like them. Why does that remind me of some old Texaco advertising sign? I don't know. No particular reason. So even though it's cold, I think I'm going to torch and <laughs> warm my hands by the fire. <laughs> oh, it's not a good thing to be playing with water when it's cold out, for sure. I know you guys in 60 Below up there know what I'm talking about. Stay in the house. I had my reasons for leaving Maine. That was the main one. It's beautiful. But I don't think I'm necessarily all that keen on being a country girl forever. Alright, so we've got something that I like. And I'm not sure I need to do that much to it. I kind of want to do a couple things to it. And that could include dragging some of these out. That one got really thick. Okay, you see that? That doesn't seem to bother me. So that means I can do that to more of them. And I can also go back in and add some paint if I want. But it means I can go back to the ones that are thinner and thicken them up a little bit. That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to decide on what happens to the center. We're getting some cells. I guess cold paint and cold weather make cells. Now we're getting some gnats trying to warm themselves by the fire. Too bad about that gnat. <laughs> That's not that badly centered. This could just be fun. I can feel the gold calling me though. But the thing about the gold is that it sinks in. It sinks into the white and just disappears. But it also helps make those spirals. So I'm going to make a little more concerted effort. This is just a different kind of a starburst. And I like those. I just want some more pink in a few places. Because it seems to make things nicer for me. I just like it. What can I say? Maybe a lot of places. Because the pink will often sell up. That's just fun. I wish it would stay. If I can see my tubing, there it is. We might get some cells. No idea how much of that will stay. There's a good chance we're also releasing some patterns. Hey, I want to say thank you to Michelle. Michelle, I got your package. <laughs> I don't know. I might have gotten your package two weeks before anybody sees this video. It makes me want some black. Why is that? I don't know. We're a little lopsided. It seems like um, whatever you are, you can go away. We're still, we're still encroaching on our center, which for me means we're just going to keep moving the rest in until it seems like it's Yeah, that's still not bothering me. I kind of want some gold in there. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I'm going to go for it anyway. They all linked, so I guess that's the way that goes. Maybe the skewer again. I 
think so. It says I got one minute left to tell you guys I got over 430 videos. So if you like what I do, go check out some more. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do, my processes. Um, not unhappy with this a bit. I don't know what else I want to do with it. Kind of something. I'm not sure what that something is yet. Steal some paint maybe. So I have uh, Teespring clothing. Should you need a sweatshirt <laughs> underneath the video. And um, I've most recently started an account at Curios where some of my artwork looks fantastic on pillows and such. I want to put some more in between. Yes, I do. And I'm going to. I hope it's a good addition. <laughs> Steal some more paint. Steal some paint from here. I think I'm just going to keep doing the drag out as opposed to um, taking a chance with a lot of other stuff. Reminds me of those clocks from the 1950s. I maybe liked it better before, but I don't hate it now, so I'm not worried about it. It's how we learn to figure out what we really like by experimenting. Yes, I am liking that. Cool. Well, I don't know what else I want to do. I kind of want to make sure this particular... Okay, get paint on your hands, whatever. I could put a dot of blue in there, but I'm, I'm afraid it would probably just sink away. I don't like that white line there. I could do some secondary circles. <laughs> I, did, I forgot my crib sheet, so... I said I do. I did say I already sell my artwork. I did say I did classes at the house. I did say we have a book out. Yep, I'm liking the secondary circles, spirals, spirals. Let's get it right. My brain freezes in the cold. I've become a Florida-sensitive, weather-sensitive person. Oh well. You know what? I really love that now. And whatever I need to touch up later, I can, but um, mostly I've got stuff leaking down over the sides just perfectly. I wish I had my crib sheet. It's not handy. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Hey, that is awesome. Check that out. Okay, I have Instagram and Pinterest, along with Facebook albums, volumes 1 and 2 and 3, underneath the bottom of the description, underneath the video. And uh, you can find the Wet and Dry Artworks from YouTube there. And if I'm really lucky, this will stay somewhat level and that circle will stay somewhat circular. And that would make me happy. Because it is somewhat circular. I use that term loosely. Maybe? Yep. Okay. I'm going to just go for it. <laughs> we're going, we're moving in. Moving into the center and you're going to be gone in a minute. And I should look at my notes. I like it. I like it. It's cute. I didn't put a little heart in there or anything. Um, okay, in the last 20 seconds of this, you will see the new contest where there are four artworks to choose from. 14 by 14 inches. And also on the YouTube community page, I post a photograph of those. And you get into the contest by donating to the studio. And that those links are for, for pay, PayPal and Patreon, and they are under the video and on my YouTube channel header. I'm going to steal some paint from right there. Let that go down right over. I could probably play with this for quite a while after you're gone, but I don't think I need to do anything to it. And uh, that was super unexpected. I love you guys. Thank you for all the contributions in the past, and uh, thank you for all the wonderful comments. And I will see you in the next video. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard. Time to go get my hands warm. Bye now. See you soon.